Hi everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on how to design an implant bridge with Gingiva with the virtual waxing feature of DWAS software. We're going to start by creating a regular DWAS order. Once the dentist and patient are assigned, select abutment as the prosthesis family and the desired material for the final restoration. Then do the following in this order. Choose the implant as per the doctor's orders. Select custom abutment with waxing as the prosthesis type. And if known, you can select an anatomy kit that will be used to compute the anatomy. Or you could just use the default and decide later. Now, click on the corresponding tooth number. Repeat the previous steps for each implant definition. The prosthesis type menu must always be set to custom abutment with waxing. Reselect all three implants, then click on the Create Bridge button. Verify the bridge definition and route. Next, open the Arch Scan Station. Drag the order into the main view to initiate the scan session. The most important here is this option. This is what tells DWAS that you don't have a handmade wax up to scan, but you want the software to create a virtual one. If you have an antagonist, this is where you're going to request its scan, as usual. We place the model in the scanner, and within the preview, we position the arch and define the area of interest. Then we assign implant locations. This dialog will pop up for you to define the precise scan area around the first implant. We uncheck this box as there wasn't the scan jig during the model scan. Place the scan jig on the model and click OK. Now, match the virtual scan jig with the jig just scanned by performing the three-point repositioning. Right-click to initiate the second implant scan. For each implant, repeat precise scan area placing the scan jig on the model, and three-point repositioning. The Gingiva Scan dialog pops up. Here, you define the Gingiva Scan area. When it's done, the antagonist scan procedure is initiated. In our case, we have requested a positive model scan, so we're prompted with the occlusion key scan. Then, we reposition the antagonist on the occlusion key. On the gingiva, trace a cervical line from which the anatomy will be computed. Under this line is called the radical area. This will take us to setting the insertion axis. The cervical line and the insertion axis are done for each implant. Now that the scans are completed, Exit the scan session and process through the CAD engine. Once you open the CAD station, what's computed is a virtual wax up with gingiva for the abutments and the pontex between them. If you wish to turn it into a full arch, nothing's easier. Just right click and select Recompute Virtual Waxing. To expand the bridge, 
just left click and drag over the teeth to include. The expansion is then highlighted in blue. The virtual waxing may need adjustments. To do so, here are the available tools. Using the edit virtual waxing function, you are given an arch with handles to reposition and shape the virtual waxing. Then, Edit Anatomy function lets you use the shaping tools on every tooth such as transforms as seen here. The virtual gingiva is also fully customizable. The edit gingiva line lets you personalize the contour of the gingiva around the anatomies. Just move the given handles and the pre-curved line will be adjusted. If you need to adjust the base of the prosthesis where it is in contact with the model's soft tissue, you can use the edit gingiva baseline function. You can erase the existing line by clicking clear line and freely draw your own by dragging the cursor on the model. Upon validation, the virtual gingiva is recomputed based on the line that you have defined. And you can even use the Add Remove Material tool. It allows you full control over the design. Add, remove, smooth and morph. Use them in the same way as with anatomies. Once the anatomies in Gingivore are merged, the result is managed just as a waxing that would have been scanned. You know they are merged because the new element appears in blue, just as the traditional waxing does. Merging is always reversible, thanks to the unmerge function. Here is how you can apply a dental band to a merged waxing. Draw a line to mark the reduction area. Define if you want the reduction to be applied inside or outside the contour. Here, we have selected the outside icon, so everything other than what's inside the selected area is reduced by 80 microns. On the other hand, if you select the inside icon, the line you draw circles the reduction. By using the Reduce Waxing feature, you can easily prepare a substructure by applying a global reduction parameter. Set its height right here. You can leave the other parameters with their default values and adjust them afterwards if the result is not satisfying in the margin area. You can still see the full anatomy waxing in transparency, but now the overlay is also displayed. Here are a few examples of what you can do with a reduced waxing. Create a dental band. This tool adds the required thickness of material to project the overlay onto the anatomy. You can also add retention beads. Upon the final merge, interfaces, screw channels, 
everything is made into one piece with regard to minimum thickness for the selected material. You just need to route and send the files to production. Thanks for watching.